Okay. Problem statement. Force R is equal to 25 Newton as the components FA, FB, and FC as shown in figure. If FC is equal to 25 Newton, find FA and FB. Okay. So first of all, R it is resultant, it is 25 Newton. So first of all, draw the diagram. So this one it is y axis and this one it is x axis. Okay. X and y axis. So F A it is on x axis. F A force it is on x axis. So that is F A it is on x axis. So this one F A and R it is then resultant it is in R. That is R resultant. So R is equal to it is 25 Newton, 25 Newton. So angle it is 30, 60 degree, sorry. Angle it is 60 degree with respect to X axis. 60 degree with respect to X axis, okay. 60 degree with respect to X axis. Then second angle it is 40 degree from the 25 Newton. Second angle that is FB angle it is so FB4, that is FB, FB, okay. So actually this angle up to here, R2 it is, this angle it is 40 degree, 40 degree, okay. So this angle it is 40 degree. So this 40 means 60 plus 40 it is 100. So from starting to up to here it is 100, okay. So this it will be 90 degree, okay. So 90 minus 100, so this it will be get 10 degree, okay. So this angle it will be get 10 degree. See, this angle it will be get 10 degree, okay, 10 degree, okay. This angle it is 10 degree. So now this one it will be 160 plus. So this FC force it is, yeah, this FC force, FC is equal to, Fc is equal to, it is 20 Newton, 20 Newton, okay. So total Fc angle, it will be 60 plus, this this angle, it will be 60 plus, up to here, it will be 160 degree. Up to here, it is 160 degree, okay, 160 degree. This angle, it is 160 degree, okay. So 160 plus 60, it will be total angle, how much? 160 plus 60, it will be, 160 plus 60. So total angle it is 220. 220. Hence this angle it is 220. See here. I will explain here. So total angle it is 220 degree. Okay. To here this angle it is 220. So 220 minus 180. So it will be at this angle. Okay. Up to here it will be 180 degree. This. Okay. This angle it is 180. 180 minus 220 it will be this angle it is 40 degree. Yeah, this angle it will get 40 degree. Okay. This angle it is 40 degree. This angle it is 40 degree. Okay. This angle it is 40 degree. So now, first of all, resolve the resultant forces. Resolve. Resolve the resultant force. Resultant force. Resolve the resultant force. Resolve the resultant force. So resultant force it will be get in two direction. So I will resolve the resultant force in red. Okay. So this one it is resultant. See here. Resultant it is how much? I will write down resultant force in so this is 25 on y axis it will be 25 sine 60. 25 is sine 60. Okay. So, resultant that is, if you resolve it is in, we call it is Rx is equal to, I can say it will be Rx is equal to, that is summation Fx is equal to, you can say it will be, these are the, if you resolve the resultant force, then it will be called as, it will be called as summation Fx in x direction okay summation of fx is equal to 
summation of fx is equal to summation of fx is equal to it is 25 cos 60 25 cos 60 so how much 25 cos 60 here 25 into cos 60 so it will be 12.5 it will be 12.5 newton 12.5 newton summation fx is equal to 12.5 so now summation f y is equal to first of all rx is equal to r y is equal to sorry r y is equal to it is summation of f y is equal to summation of f y summation of f y summation of f summation of f y is equal to it is 25 sine 60 25 sine 60 is equal to so how much 25 sine 60 it is 25 into sine 60 so it will be 21.650 21.650 newton okay summation of y it is 25.650 and summation fx it is 20 12.5 newton okay so this is fx and fy calculate now so fa fb and fc okay now we will think only about the fa fb and fc okay so first of all resolve this F, fb force in two direction it is the result in fb force in two direction so angle with 10 degree it is with respect to y axis first of all that's fb cos 10 fb cos 10 on y axis on x axis it will be fb sin 10 fb sin 10 fb sin 10 okay so next one it will be that's fc 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 is equal to this 20 newton okay so resolve this one so this one it is 20 cos 40 20 cos 40 so angle it is with respect to x axis angle it is with respect to x axis that's why it will be 20 cos 40 on y axis it will be 20 sin 40 20 sin 40 20 sin 40 okay these are the resolution so now sum of all horizontal forces sum of sum of all sum of all horizontal forces or gentle forces sum of all the horizontal forces yes okay so summation of fx is equal to summation of fx is equal to summation of fx is equal to so we need to assumption it is here if the force it is going in right side it will be take positive if the force direction it is right side so it will be take positive the force direction it is left side it will be take negative the direction of force it is in left side then it will be take negative then it will be take negative okay summation fx is equal to zero so accept the resultant force okay here we start only fa fb and fc so fb sign 10 it will be going left side so it will be take negative minus fb sin 10 fb sin 10 then minus 20 cos 40 it is also going left side minus 20 cos 40 20 cos 40 cos 40 then plus fa and plus fa okay then plus fa so we know that summation fx is equal to it is 12.5 Summation fx, just put summation fx is equal to 12.5 in this equation. So summation fx it is 12.5 is equal to minus fb sin 10, sin 10, then minus 20 cos 40, minus 20, 20 cos 40, almost 20 into cos 40. So it will be 15.320. 15.3320 then plus FA then plus FA okay so we know that so minus 15.320 take it is left side so minus 15.320 12.5 plus 15.320 so it will be 27.82 so we can write down FA minus fb sin 10 is equal to 
is equal to it will be 27.82 27.82 okay so write down this one it is equation number one equation number one equation number one so now sum up all the horizontal force now sum up all the horizontal force so we'll write here sum up all the sorry horizontal it is completed now sum up all the vertical forces sum up all the vertical forces sum up all the vertical forces so we'll write down here sum up all the vertical forces sum of all sum of all vertical forces vertical forces sum of all the vertical forces so here we need to assumption when the force it is upward direction it will be take positive if the direction of force it is upward it will be take positive if the direction of force it is downward it will be take negative if the direction of force it is in downward then it will be take negative okay negative so first of all that's a b cos 10 it will be going upward direction so it will be plus f b cos 10 f b cos 10 then minus 20 sine 40 it is going downward minus 20 sine 40 is going downward then is there anything remaining so this one it is then so this one it is actually summation f y is equal to zero f y is equal to this one it is summation of f so this one it is summation of f y is equal to f b cos 10 it is upward then minus 20 sin 40 it is downward okay so now Summation f y is equal to this 25.650. Put here f y it is 25.650. So f b f b cos 10 f b cos 10 b cos 10 minus 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 20 sin 40 20 sin 40. So it will be 12.855.855. So f b f b cos 10 is equal to fb cos 10 is equal to so 20.650 plus 12.855 that will be 34.50 okay so fb is equal to it will be get from this relation fb is equal to 34.500 divided by cos 10 cos 10 it will be 35 newton 35 newton okay. fb is equal to 35 newton so put fb is equal to 35 newton in equation 1 so it will be get fa value from this fa minus 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 fb it is 35 sin 10 is equal to 27.85 27.8585 so fa is equal to fa is equal to write down fa is equal to so 27.82 plus 35 into sine 10 sine 10 so it is 33.89 so fa it is 33.89 897 newton okay this one it is fa so if it is 33.897 and fb it is 835 newton 30 so these are the two forces fa and fb 